recently pulled this part here off an old Mercedes diesel engine. And I, and I, and I looked at it and I said, wow, this has got to be a really good example for a very important lesson. I'm talking about a lesson for all of us who do work on our own cars or who just drive cars and want them to last a long time. Let me show you up close what I'm looking at here and I think you'll be surprised as well. Just look at the extent of the corrosion on this aluminum thermostat housing. Look at that. Look at it's actually almost corroded a hole completely through right there and look at the buildup of the corrosion. Uh, this is where one of the coolant holes is clamped on right here. And you might be wondering, well, what in the world is causing that? Well, can you imagine if this is happening here, what might be happening elsewhere inside the engine, particularly if the engine has an aluminum cylinder head? Uh, this, this, this I've seen create problems throughout the engine, including problems with premature head gasket failure and coolant leaks and other issues because of one thing. Does anybody want to venture a guess as to what, what caused this? I'm sure some of you already know, and some of you have seen this before. But this is a classic example of what I call lack of coolant maintenance, okay? And this could take on a couple of forms. Number one, never changing the coolant or flushing your cooling system. That could be one reason. Another reason which I, I think is even more common is that people have these old cars and they develop little coolant leaks, whether it be a small leak in a radiator or a small leak coming out of a hose. And what they do, instead of adding a mix of coolant and water, they just keep putting water in the car or in the, in the, in the cooling system. And, and you can imagine over time, if you do that, you just pretty soon have you know, 80, 90% water and very little coolant. Remember, coolant has a rust inhibitor in it, corrosion inhibitors, as well as lubricants that pro prolong the life of things like your water pump. So if you think you can just drive your car around with very little coolant in it or real dirty coolant, uh, this is what you can expect, okay? You either pay a little now or you pay a lot later. So I recommend, depending upon the type of driving, that you change your coolant at least every three years. You know, t take it into a place that does it. It's really a messy job and it's, it, you know, you, don't, you need to get rid of the old coolant. So I recommend this is something you just have done. And, you know, get the system flushed out and put new proper coolant. Okay, it's very important that it, you use Mercedes-Benz specification coolant. If the shop doing the flush won't use that coolant, then go somewhere else because that's an absolute must on Mercedes-Benz in particular that you use the proper MB coolant, okay? So a word to the DIYer. Do not let this happen to you.